Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam, and today we're going to be looking at a technical thing, a recording issue. So I have a Scarlett 2i2 USB audio interface that I use for FL Studio. And for my microphone, I have a Blue Yeti that uh, I'm probably going to change uh, in the near future, but it's been working okay. And the only issue I have is that when I want to record in FL Studio, if I want to record my voice, I need to record it in like something like Audacity, a third party program, export that vocal, and then bring it into FL Studio. Now, how can we tackle that? How can we record everything within the DAW, all inside of FL Studio? So my USB audio interface has two recording inputs, um, but I'm not plugged into it. It has two XLR like balanced inputs or something, but I'm not using it. Um, I'm using my USB cord and the Blue Yeti is its own device. In the options, so just up here, options, audio settings, I've now switched it for the purpose of this tutorial to ASIO for all. I'm not gonna permanently use this. I like using uh, my Focusrite USB audio device. It performs better. ASIO for all has some benefits, not only for people who don't have a uh, proper ASIO device. Sometimes it actually gives you better reliability than your ASIO driver if the driver is not too good, if it's kind of uh, under par. Um, there is also the FL Studio ASIO driver, which is good as well. But the ASIO for all device uh, driver, um, I would go ahead and download it. If you guys don't have it, download and install it. It's in the video description. It's also included in the FL Studio installer. So go ahead and open this ASIO panel. Now you'll see here some settings here. And the important stuff is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you switch this. So you see how it's on advanced mode right now. So in order to see the advanced modes, you're gonna to have to turn that like that. So right now you might see it like this. Make sure you see the advanced options so that you can make sure that it's configured properly. Um, for me, you can see here this, the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. That's my output, that's what I'm hearing. And so I have that out on. And it's just important to make sure that your Yeti or your USB microphone, whatever it is, is turned on with this button here. And make sure that the input is turned on so you can get that signal flow coming in. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. And what I've done here, you can see my voice is kind of pumping through here. You won't get this initially, but how to do that is you just go to any free signal, like uh, let's see here, right here, insert one, and you just select the device because now ASIO for all is the middleman for your output, for your input. It can manage multiple devices. And I selected this one, Yeti stereo microphone. There were these other options, but I just selected this one. Uh, so go ahead and select the appropriate one. In this case, I selected number one and that's it. If you guys wanna record, uh, what I'm doing actually for this tutorial is I'm recording it in Edison in real time. And you can see there it's recording there and it's, it's dope. That way you guys can not only record within FL Studio to avoid using something like Audacity and you wanna keep it all in house, but you can take it a step further. You can also, um, I've reduced the volume here because I don't wanna hear my voice like at the same time, but you guys can also slap on effects. You guys can slap on something like Auto-Tune and kind of get creative and hear how it'll sound in advance. Um, which could probably help you a lot to help you with a workflow saving time. And that way you could just slap on something and see how it sounds. Um, I don't even know how it's gonna sound here, but let's just go ahead and do it for the purpose of this tutorial. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you can see there, that way you can do some real time stuff. You can add your reverb, your delay, and get an idea of what it sounds like, but then you can also slap on Edison, sample stuff, and it will help you a lot. So if you guys were looking for a solution to listen to yourself in real time, record in real time, but also keep everything in house, look no further than just doing it this way. Install ASIO for all, make sure you guys um, have that input on and the device is on. So I hope this helps you guys in terms of recording within FL Studio and keeping everything in house, especially if you have a USB microphone, you'll find this handy. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to smash the like button. It helps this channel a lot, I really appreciate it. And it looks like you guys are really loving the big room tutorials. I'm gonna be making more big room tutorials and I wanna make like an artist series as well. So let me know 
Um, if there's a specific artist you're trying to capture the sound, whether it's W and W Hardwell, or if it's specific track, artist, genre, comment below. Let me know. And uh, with that being said, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you guys are alerted for all my tutorials. And I will see you guys very soon. Take it easy. Take care.